The more a robot resembles a human, the more people trust it. Which could be really bad. Stick around for more updates, including the new PND Botics humanoid robot with a pelvis designed to move like a human. Crime fighting robots in Atlanta, Agility's plans to mass produce its digit AI robot, fungi powered living robots, a throwback robot, and other developments you might have missed. According to a new study, people trust human like robots more, even when they are unreliable. Researchers from University of California Merced and Penn State tested 558 people through simulated decision making tasks. The study used drone simulations where robots advised participants on whether to attack targets. 58% of people changed their choices about who to attack when a robot suggested it, even if the robot was guessing. The participants said they trusted the robots more if they looked and acted like humans. Researchers suggest people may overtrust robots, posing risks in emergencies or military missions. What's so special about Adam's pelvis? Its maker says it enables unprecedented human-like motion control capability. China-based PND Botics says the humanoid robot is built with cost-effective materials and modular components, so its production can be scaled. It's also easier to fix than older types of robots that use complex hydraulic systems. The company says Adam is the first high biomimetic robot, meaning it closely imitates the biological structure and movements of a real human. PND says the design enables Adam to walk, run, and perform complex movements with smooth, human-like agility. Adam's pelvis is designed to move like a person's, using joints and actuators that mimic natural motion. This includes heel-to-toe walking and running. Researchers detailed their findings developing Adam in a recent paper, Whole Body Humanoid Robot Locomotion with Human Reference. The humanoid uses reinforcement learning to mimic human behavior, improving over time. In it, they call the special learning method adversarial motion priors. It combines two types of learning by copying human movement and trial and error. By using data about how humans walk and move, Adam can learn to move more like a human. Tests showed that the 1.6 meter Adam can walk and run over difficult surfaces. It stays balanced even when pushed or bumped. It has 25 quasi-direct drive actuators that provide force control and high sensitivity. The motor system combines the benefits of direct drive and geared motors. It's equipped with a real-time communication network, a motion control computer with a 12th generation i7 processor, and the programmable switch with network management capabilities. In an update from earlier this year, PND said the team spent 317 hours building the humanoid robot. A new crime, detecting robots, is now patrolling streets in Old Fourth Ward. You might have seen it. Its mission, notice unusual behavior and then alert police. This crime-fighting robot patrols Atlanta's Old Fourth Ward autonomously. It's one of two Nightscope AI robots deployed at Wingate City Lights Apartments to address high crime rates. The Nightscope K5 patrols the area using cameras, thermal sensors, facial and plate recognition, and wireless signal detection to monitor surroundings. If it detects a threat, the K5 alerts authorities and warns people nearby. Its partner, the K1, is a stationary robot that monitors specific locations like entrances. Nightscope plans to expand its technology further into greater Atlanta and beyond. Earlier this year, New York City ended its trial with the K5 robot after just four months due to difficulties in crowded areas and privacy concerns. During Nightscope's latest stakeholder meeting, co-founder and CEO William Santana Lee said the company is focused on improving its robots. The company has struggled since going public. In our eyes, there's a potential for a $40 billion recurring revenue opportunity once everything's in place. The CEO said he believes things are improving, but Wall Street is skeptical. Robots for public safety and security applications are increasingly common. In this new footage from Fox 11 Los Angeles, a robot dog that appears to be Boston Dynamics' spot assists during a SWAT standoff. In Taylor, Michigan, Rad Dog by Robotic Assistant Devices is used as a de-escalation and officer safety tool for situations requiring two-way communication with a subject. According to the Detroit News, the robot is leased for $35,000 per year. 
Well, the thing I like about the most is that you can get that face-to-face -face contact with the officer. So if we have a, a distressed individual where we deploy the dog, you know, that, that video monitor right at the beginning, you know, we can, they can establish a relationship right there and he can see the officer as well as hear the officer. California-based Cobalt Robotics makes robots that patrol offices, warehouses, and corporate campuses. The robots allow for real-time interaction between a human security guard and a person in need via a video screen. SMP Robotics, also based in California, specializes in outdoor surveillance and security. The company's robots can traverse rough terrains like sand, snow, and mud. They're equipped with advanced sensors for detecting gas leaks and temperature anomalies. In Singapore, OTSA security robots combine 360-degree camera systems with real-time data processing for enhanced situational awareness. This is a living robot. Researchers at Cornell created the biohybrid robot that uses signals from fungi to move and respond to its surroundings. They combined fungal mycelia, which are tiny, thread-like parts of mushrooms, with mechanical hardware. The living tissue sends electrical signals that control the robot, like an animal brain controls movement. The system uses electronics to read fungi signals and convert them into robot commands. Two robots, one soft and spider-like, another with wheels move using fungal signals, blending life with machines. These biohybrid robots could monitor soil health or detect pollution sensing environmental cues where regular sensors might fail. Fungi survive harsh conditions and detect changes, making them ideal for robots in unpredictable environments. Agility Robotics says its new factory will start producing humanoid robots by the end of the year. Agility calls its RoboFab facility in Salem, Oregon, the world's first factory for mass-producing humanoids. According to the Salem Reporter, Agility plans to hire 500 people to produce the digit robots. The 70,000-square-foot factory can produce up to 10,000 robots per year. In its first year, RoboFab plans to build hundreds of digit robots, with more to follow as production increases. The 5-foot-9 digit carries up to 35 pounds and works 16-hour days. Introduced in 2019, Digit integrates well with other automated systems and has made significant progress at a facility operated for Spanx. It perceives its surroundings with advanced LiDAR and stereo cameras. It navigates autonomously, effectively avoiding obstacles. Digit robots will work alongside human workers in the new factory. In a new interview with Forbes, Agility CEO Peggy Johnson said the robotics company is focused on demonstrating Digit's practical value. So Digit is a multi-purpose robot, and although we're starting in the logistics area because the demand is so high there, Digit can learn new skills, it can operate in the healthcare industry, retail, transportation, um, there's a whole world out there. But we're starting where the demand is highest and where we have the current feature set that can meet that demand. But AI now will be able to help us teach Digit new skills very quickly to move into these other markets. The humanoids are designed specifically to work safely alongside people and can help with tasks like moving and loading boxes. As the robots work, they collect data to help improve their performance. They identify where the robot makes mistakes and use that info to refine their algorithms. And so as you're trying to go out there and do the correct thing all the time in all of the cases, which is the measure of success of a good robot, what you really do is you, you build up these large data sets and then you drill into them to sort of find all the places where you, you kind of deviate for some unexpected reason. Something was outside what you planned for. And you can use that to improve what the robot's doing. You can either... Jonathan Hurst co-founder and chief robotic officer of Agility, told the Salem Reporter his company aims to enable people to be more human than human. He emphasized Digit isn't intended to replace humans, but take on dull, dirty, dangerous, repetitive tasks companies struggle to hire for. Salem is about 47 miles north of Portland. Hearst told the newspaper the city of 180,000 was chosen for its central location and access to skilled workers. In the Forbes interview, CEO Johnson said Agility is focused on developing the next generation of their products, likely including enhancements, so Digit meets broader market needs. 
Well, it's not a futuristic thing. Digit can work today. She said she wants to create an app store for its robots so companies can easily add new programs and change what the robots can do to fit different jobs. Digit is one of at least three humanoid robots major logistics provider GXO has in use. The Wobble One, developed by Waseda University in Japan and introduced in 1973, is recognized as the world's first full-scale humanoid robot. The Wobble One walked using its two legs with a bipedal gait. Though its movement was slow and it could only traverse on flat, even surfaces, its walking capability was a significant advancement at the time. Its hands were designed to mimic human fingers so it could do tasks like picking up and placing objects. It had a rudimentary conversation system for communicating in Japanese. Its capabilities were significantly enhanced in 1984 with the ability to read musical scores and play a keyboard with a high degree of precision. One X Technologies gave S3 an exclusive look inside its facility where it's developing its next generation humanoid robot for home use. X1's first robot, Eve, reached a peak production of 10 to 20 units per month. For its new robot, founder and CEO Bernd Brnich wants to scale up to 5 to 10 times that amount in a new factory currently under construction. It's all the cliches, right? Like uh, founding a company and like building it, you realize all the cliches are true. It's about grit. Everyone will tell you you're wrong. Everyone will laugh at you. I think the biggest thing you can do as a founder is to have conviction in your own idea. If I look at like companies dying, also in robotics, it's often because they had this like great intuition about like, this is the thing we should do. And then it gets watered out because people just keep beating on them. And you're like, like for us, right? Oh, you can't use tendons to drive a robot. They don't have reliability, durability, all of these things. That's been tried many times before. And then try again, and you try again for years, and you finally make it work. One X Technologies just released a short clip of the pre-production model of its NeoBeta AI robot. NeoBeta will be tested in a few homes this year to gather feedback and learn how it performs in real life. On the Overpowered podcast, One X founder and CEO Bernd Even Brinich said the robot could be available in homes sooner than expected. He said it'll initially be priced about the same as a modest vehicle. UBTech's Walker S Lite humanoid robot is now in use at a Chinese factory that makes Volkswagen and Audi cars. The China-based robotics company just released footage of the pint-sized robot checking the assembly of cars at the FAW Volkswagen factory in Qingdao. The robot also completes specific tasks at certain workstations on the production line. Walker S Lite can move around the factory and interact with different tools and machines. The robot is also in use at Zeker's smart factory that manufactures electric cars. The Walker S Lite is a lighter, more deployable version of the Walker S that's reportedly been in testing at NIO, another Chinese EV maker. The light version handles general manufacturing tasks, while the Walker S is suited for complex tasks like quality inspections and assembly line integration. The Walker S Lite can create 3D semantic maps for navigation, it recognizes and grasps objects with hand-eye coordination. The testing is part of a collaboration between UB Tech, Miracle Automation Engineering, and Zeker's parent company, Geely Holding. Zeker, founded in March 2021, specializes in high-tech luxury electric vehicles. Remember to subscribe to stay hip on the latest in humanoid robotics. Leave suggestions for humanoid robots to include in future roundups in the comments.